two million dollars. Oh, okay, it's really wonky, guys. Let's have a look. Here it is. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. Today I'm going to be cleaning my vintage Ferragamo bag, which I got from Japanese eBay. So as you can see, kind of looks like a little bit dirty, but I asked if I needed to buy like antibacterial stuff for it, and they said not necessarily, it doesn't look too dirty. Yes. How's it going? Welcome to my channel, I'm Jess. I'm gonna be cleaning my little vintage Ferragamo bag today. Now, I did go to the bag spa. Um, so, backstory guys, I bought this on eBay from a Japanese seller for $220. And, well, the the new ones in the store cost almost 4,000 Australian dollars, so, you know, this is giving me a little bit of the vibe for less. I went to the bag star spa to ask if they could clean it because it looks almost like it might have mold, but I don't think it does actually. I asked if I needed to buy anything to clean it or they said that they wouldn't recommend um, them cleaning it, that I could probably just clean it myself. Um, I did end up getting some Loving My Bags Most Delicate Cleanser. And this is what they recommended for me to clean it. And yeah, guys, I, I will see how it goes. Thank you so much for all your comments and recommendations. I know a lot of you guys collect vintage bags as well and have restored your own bags. And, you know, I had some advice to get the Safia products and also to use soap and vinegar and that sort of thing. And yeah, I don't know. I think for, for now I might just use this because yeah, the bag spa, they said I just had to wipe it down a little bit. It should be okay. But again, guys, like who knows? We'll see. I'm not storing it near my other bags either because I know if there is any mold on it or something that could transport to my other bags. I did have a comment saying that they don't buy vintage bags because they're scared of the mold thing or anything pre-loved. They just buy everything new from the boutique. Um, mold can happen just from where you live, like even if you live in like a humid climate, like Singapore or something, there's a chance you could get mold. I know um, in the summertime I have to be careful of my leather jackets in my closet because they don't have much space to breathe and sometimes I have noticed a little bit of mold build up on my leather jackets and I just have to like wipe it off and it goes away because it kind of in Melbourne it gets hot and cold and yeah but Definitely with any bags, they can get mold. So it's good to check your bags and I haven't had any major issues with mold, but I'm just gonna wipe this down today and see if it brings it back to life. I do have other leather lotion, this aloe vera one, which I used on my Chanel bags, which I quite like. And I've also got some like tissue here to kind of reshape the bag because it's quite deflated. I did ask the bag spa if it's worth restoring this bag but they said it would cost about five hundred dollars and i just thought nah, no point because they said they wouldn't be able to restore the inside because it's kind of peeling and they'd have to like replace the whole interior it's just not worth it so let's see how we go with uh this so you gotta shake it up and then let's just put a little bit here and i'll just try it on the inside first and see if this helps So this is just a microfiber cloth. Just dab it like this. Polish it like that. I think I want to clean the inside as well. Because, you know, why not? Just, um, you know, anything I put inside won't get too dirty. If I clean it. Now, some of these parts have gone a bit sticky, so I don't know if there's anything I can do about that, but yes, it is a bit dusty in there. So I don't know what the what happened to this bag, guys. I don't know what the previous owner did, but it was completely squished somewhere and neglected for some time. So it's nice to kind of bring life back into forgotten bags, you know, and something like this is really pretty the reason why i bought it is because it really reminds me of the vintage kelly which is you know very very expensive 
So just clean that. Hmm. That is kind of clean. It's actually not that dirty inside. It's not picking up any like weird dirt, but that will just kind of clean it up a little bit. Getting into all the crevices there. Just put a bit more on there, why not? Just, you know, sometimes I go a bit crazy with this stuff. Get a bit carried away here, so I'll put some more in there. the other side to do the front part let's start from like the front part here oh, oh my gosh so much better already <laughs> guys I really didn't really need to do I think I was being way too dramatic I don't think there was even mold on this bag it was just dirty oh my gosh that already looks so much better Oh, amazing. Look at that already. Oh, oh my God, guys. Look how much better that looks. It's like glistening. All right, let's continue. Five hundred thousand times better already. I think I just needed to clean it. Oh my gosh, that made such a difference. Now I'm gonna stuff the bag just to get the shape back. Okay guys, now that I've stuffed it, it's already looking a lot better. I'm just gonna, it's still like probably a bit damp. So I think as it dries, it should kind of remold back into this shape as well. This love in my bags definitely helped a lot. I might give it a little bit of a buff as well. I've got these um, sapphire polishing cloths. So I might use that at the end just to give it a final little buff. Actually, first, I just remembered I need to clean my strap as well. So I'm just going to clean my strap. So I got this from Amazon. It's a gold jewelry polishing cloth, and I use it on my Hermes hardware. As you can see, <laughs> it was really... Uh, my vintage Kelly was... I don't know, it didn't actually look that rusty, but it did lift off quite a bit. So I kind of needed to get a new one, but I'll just use a little part that wasn't that gross. And you can just buff with this white part just to get off anything. The purple side just to buff it. And that will make it super duper 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 shiny. <laughs> See? Looks a bit better now. <laughs> Looks much better. I'm definitely going to have to do that to these parts as well because they're looking a little bit dull. So let's just try to do it with these. These little crevices in here. There you attach the strap. As well. Gets off all that. Yeah, 
Yes, he does look much better. Back here. Let me just give this a slow. Might just use the non-used side of this microfiber cloth and just give it a little polish down, a little buff. Beautiful leather. This box cuff, see, that's the thing, box cuff you actually can kind of restore, even though it's kind of got some scratches on it, it's still really, really beautiful, it's shiny. So, honestly guys, if you're worried about getting box cuff from like Hermes, like investing in it, you can, like it does last. Like, this one looks like it's been through the ring a bit. I mean, it was completely squished before, but look how beautifully it's come off. That's kind of crazy, actually. It's only, this bag was only 200 bucks. <laughs> now, the inside is not the best. It is a little bit, um, like it's peeling a little bit, but yeah, which is a shame. But the, the, other than that, it looks quite good. There is a little bit of um, like corner wear, but I don't know if I can be bothered to fix that. So yeah, maybe we should try this on guys, see how it looks. This is the bag on me as a crossbody. Um, I've just cleaned it, so it's looking much better, less wonky. I think it's actually a really cute crossbody, so I'm pretty happy with it. Like honestly, it's a much more affordable option than getting the one from the boutique. And there's a lot of these on eBay at the moment, guys. So you can totally get one for an absolute steal. I'll link the one below that I saw that's only like $20 at the moment. But yeah, I quite like the box calf version. Sorry about my slippers. Ugh, that is so embarrassing. But yeah, anyways, that's that. What do you guys think? Do you think I need to do anything else to it? I don't think there was any mold on it, actually. I think it just needed to have a bit of a clean and a polish. And I think now yeah, it looks quite cute. Just to show you guys comparison. Don't worry, I'm not going to leave this bag here just in case it does have mold. I don't think it does though. Honestly, look at it. And plus, these are also vintage, so they're totally fine. I think it was just dirty. So I cleaned it, guys. It's a chocolate brown. I just wanted to show you guys comparison to Hermes bags because it has a similar vibe. So this is a vintage Kelly 28 next to the uh, iconic Ferragamo top handle. And then we have a map kind of box calf. It's called Shimoni leather or Shimonix. Uh, as you can see, this box calf is really stiff and... Yeah, the condition of these bags are much better than this Ferragamo one. This one has definitely seen some better days. Like, as you can see, in the, the bottom is a bit wonky. But, I mean, it's it's pretty cute. I mean, and the price is just so much less than, you know, these. Um, also, I wanted to show you comparing to, like, a sac de jour. Because it's probably, like, a similar size. So, that's the sac de jour nano next to the Ferragamo bag. Honestly, both very cute little crossbodies. I love the Sac de Giordano, so I'm also very much drawn to this. And yeah, you can see it's more of a chocolatey brown here. It's got a little bit of dust there, but yeah, it's kind of it gets dusty easily. Oh, that is it's just a little speck. Yeah, see how it's like a chocolate brown. It does have a few scratches on it, see there, but still. It's polished up really well. It kind of reminds me of this leather on my uh, Veru bag. Very, very shiny leather. This one is probably more luxurious than the Ferragamo, but yeah, I mean, pretty good. So guys, thanks for watching my video today. And again, thank you for all your tips and help on how I could clean this bag. I might give it another um, resuscitate again because... Like, I'll just see how it goes with the stuffing. It's a bit, like, wobbly because the base, I need to kind of, the even the base was really bent. So, now that I've stuffed it, I have to kind of encourage it to, <laughs> like, sit properly as well. But we'll get there, guys. I'm, I'm still kind of reshaping the bag. But other than that, I think it looks quite pretty. So, yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope you found it helpful. I used uh, the Loving My Bags. I didn't use the aloe vera conditioner because I didn't think I needed it, and I just used the polishing cloth and uh, microfiber cloth. So I didn't have to spend much money to restore it. Loving My Bag stuff you could probably use on any other 
bags you have to clean. It does work on box calf, um, so that's good because I know box calf can be quite delicate. So yeah, that's that. Hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. Give me a super like if you uh, super liked this video. And yeah, or super thanks. And I'll talk to you on my next one. Bye.